Hello and welcome to the program today. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you for joining us. Our guest in studio is Dr. Suman B. Rao, medical oncologist, board certified in hematology and medical oncology as well as internal medicine, and she's a returning guest here to talk with us about the Test Talk Take Action Initiative. It's a brand new national educational campaign focused on awareness around lung cancer and biomarker testing. Welcome back to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Rao. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming back. It's always a pleasure. Uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, for listeners who um, haven't been here with us on, on other segments, um, you are fellowship trained? Yes. I did my fellowship at the University of Texas Southwestern in Dallas, both in hematology and oncology. Focus, though, has been more oncology these days. Was there anything uh, a specific um, experience or uh, personal interest or anything that, I guess, uh, moved you closer to your interest uh, in this type of uh, oncology testing? Um, yeah, I've been asked that question, and sometimes my patients ask me, why do I do this? I, you know, I think I've always enjoyed, uh, I, I've, I've always enjoyed the uh, rapport that I can develop with my patients. I think... That is probably the, the patient, the attachment the patients have to oncologists is really something special. Um, I think uh, it, it's uh, that is what I saw during my residency, and I think most that is probably what drove me the most toward oncology. Although, as I said, I'm, I'm I do enjoy the science. I love the science. I love the fact that uh, there's always something new, and you know you're um, challenged to keep up with it. So definitely that's a part of it also. But I think um, my patients uh, are definitely my foremost reason for going into oncology. And one thing I've said is that the more uh, I do this, the less I complain about everything else, mm-hmm. which is great I, for life. It's, um, it helps you get a perspective on what is important uh, and why if you are healthy and you and otherwise doing okay, how little you have to complain about anything else. I guess, yeah, putting things into perspective for you and then allowing you in turn to help put things into perspective for your patients, right? Yes, yes. And and uh, I see my patients um, evolve uh, over time with, uh, how, with their thinking. And I have so many patients who come back and say, well, I wouldn't say that I'm, uh, that I'm happy to have had cancer, but I'm... Um, thankful for some of the experiences and how it's made me into a, you know, quotation marks, better person. Now, let's talk about the Test, Talk, Take Action initiative. Is this something that is going on nationwide in schools or is something that is focused more on healthcare professionals and their efforts to uh, get education and awareness to the mainstream? Uh, So the Test, Talk, Take Action campaign is focused more towards physicians healthcare professionals, as well as toward patients. Um, basically, the idea is that the more knowledge the, that is out there, the more likely that this gets utilized and patients are getting the right uh, treatments that uh, they need. And so this- it's, uh, that is the, the major focus. Schools, medical schools, medical schools are actually doing a pretty good job talking about these um, anymore. I mean, I, I think it is part of the curriculum and a lot of uh, 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 a lot of fellowship trained graduates are aware of these biomarkers coming out of school. When you're talking about biomarker testing and uh, the test talk take action initiative, and as uh, these two relate to uh, lung cancer and whatnot, what um, what type of response do you get? Um, how do you handle, I guess, resistance to change when some folks have been, you know, really entrenched in the tried and true traditional methods? Yeah, so uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, in, 20 years ago, yeah, we just scratched the surface. I mean, KRAS mutation was the only thing we knew about. And if you stop there, you don't, uh, it's, it's very hard to then have the more advanced, uh, give the more advanced treatments uh, for the patients. So um, it, I think it's really, really important to keep up. It's... Um, the uh, although the technology is 20 years and and a lot of uh, physicians get very busy with uh, practice seeing patients every day it's a very busy life in oncology life is very very busy and um, there's a lot of demands on time and so i think the web- websites like this information that is easily available and provided 
can really help uh, physicians keep up with what is new today what's uh, and the importance of um, testing so the the right treatments can be uh, can be given and um, yeah I mean, a lot of the time there is even though these drugs sometimes you do uh, you are aware of the drug you're aware that it's out there but force of habit the first thing you think about is oh i know this chemotherapy i know this drug i'm going to use it or well immunotherapy might work but it may not work quickly enough and so i think the details um it is very important to know what the details are about these treatments how cost effective uh, is biomarker testing i mean you know being open enrollment right now in the united states as far as healthcare sure. and, uh, is concerned uh, are we talking about something that is readily uh, covered coverable Readily covered by yeah, the yeah. I, I mean, cost is an issue. Uh, cost is definitely an issue, um, and a lot of the time. So it is, um, you know, it's really. Well, I think if if the practice, if the physicians are able to spend the time or have enough support from the off from their offices, from the staff to to make this happen, often testing can be available. A lot of the um, the, the uh, centers or the um, institutes uh, that provide this testing do have uh, compassionate use programs. They have funding available. Um, the the website itself uh, may help direct to sources of funding, might help get, give information to patients on how to get this funded. Um, insurance companies do cover, but sometimes there are co-pays, there are... Uh, issues that can come up with that. Uh, we have a contract with one of the providers for this testing, and they do um, offer testing across the board for us for uh, a very defined copay. They will not go over a certain amount. So certainly these contracts can be put into place. And uh, again, the, te- the, the website testtalktakeaction.com also does provide resources for looking for sort of, for funding help with these tests. Thank you for coming in and talking with us again, Dr. Rao. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us today. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm, and you can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes.